Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This message is for those of you who have experienced abuse or trauma. Some of you have spent a lot of money on therapy only to find it didn't quite work, as you are still feeling the same. I want to share some secrets with you in this video today on why you can't seem to move on. You see, the thing is, when you have been through abuse and trauma, the energy of the person or experience becomes stuck in your aura, which is an energy field that we all have around us. Um, so although you have moved on physically and mentally, you are still attached to this person or experience because the energy is still working inside your aura, causing sleep problems, among other things. You go to your therapy sessions, but something still doesn't feel right. For some of you, you feel anxious and even more depressed at some times. Now, I'm not knocking therapy. It's always good to speak to someone and offload stuff. It's a great start to your healing journey. You've done a lot of work on yourself, so keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. But no matter how much you feel like you've moved on, if this does not involve spiritual healing, then you haven't moved on. Regardless of whether you believe in spiritual healing um, or not, it's real. It's you know, it's not, you know, it's not some new age, new age weirdo thing. <laughs> it's what the world actually needs right now. Some of you may have noticed when ending a relationship with someone two to five years on, they are still in your mind. Um, you know, as if you broke up yesterday. Why is that? You've, you know, you're having a shower, they pop into your mind, you're busy creating amazing content, and they are there in your head. As you wake up from your sleep, you, the first thing you see is their face. It's like you can't get them out of your head. <laughs> this is happening because their energy is still attached to your energy field. So it feels like you are still in this relationship. This works the same with parents, children, siblings and bosses. I mean, have you ever noticed when you finished work, your boss and colleagues are still inside your head? <laughs> same thing, right? <laughs> the thing about trauma and abuse is that it causes us to shatter like glass, but in spirit form. Pieces of us are broken off, which sits outside our body and we have now become these pieces and have now drifted out of our body in order to cope with it all. The dangers of that is that we then make room for all these negative energies to sort of take our place, which is why you might feel suicidal, depressed, anxious and, and you know, sort of suffer from abnormal tiredness, weird eating habits, because you are no longer fully in your body anymore. The trauma and, you know, whether the trauma is uh, drugs, alcohol, rape, child abuse, or maybe you've lost someone close to you, um, this has caused these negative energies just to slip in. So you're here and the negative energy is now here. So this, this energy has now become a part of you. It's whispering negative thoughts, telling you, you know, telling you to do things that you wouldn't normally do. You know, causing you to be over-emotional. You are now living... The life of these energies and entities, they're telling you what to eat, what to watch, how to feel, what to listen to, you know, and then your life begins to just go down, down, down. So this is why you feel like you can't fully move on because they are still attached to you as if you are still going through the experience. What you need today is to detach from this person or this experience and this is something you can practice on your own alongside your current therapy because you still need to talk to someone. It's good to talk, right? This detachment exercise that I'm going to share with you now is very powerful and it's the only way you can start to feel happy and free again. So let's begin. So let's just take a deep breath. And I want you to visualise this person who did this to you. If you don't know who the person is, as there are often cases like this, just hold on to um, 
you know, the, ex the experience. Take a deep breath. I want you to visualise a bright, sp sparkly, purple light in front of you, like a column of light in front of you now. A beautiful, sparkling, violet, purple light in front of you now, like a column. I want you to visualise the person or the experience and I want you to put them on the other side of this column of light. Sparkling violet light. See it, feel it in front of you. See them on the other side of this light. Imagine this light burning away the energy of this person. Burning and burning and burning away this person's energy from your aura and your body. You begin to feel stronger and lighter as this person's energy lifts from your aura, lifts from your aura and your body. See the light spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. You feel much better now. You are starting to feel more like yourself. As this energy has been lifted, you are coming back. You are coming back to yourself. All those broken pieces are coming back together now. They're coming back together now. The broken pieces are coming back together now. You are starting to feel whole again. You are starting to feel powerful again. You are starting to feel like yourself again. Happiness is flooding into your body. Happiness is flooding into your soul. Now I want you just to take a deep breath and allow yourself to come back to yourself. You are safe, you are safe. And I want you to say to this person, I am free from you now. I am free from you now. We are no longer attached. We are no longer attached. I am free from you now. This is an exercise that you can do on your own. No need to pay someone, no need to go to outside help. Because the thing about outside help is that they're pretty messed up themselves. So what happens is when you go and pay someone to help you, they just mess you up. They just put more bad energy inside of you and just mess you up more. So you can do this yourself. You've got this. You can do this yourself. I hope this has helped somebody today. I'm so excited to share all my um, experiences and to share what actually works and what I've actually tried and tested, okay? So I want you to practice this, practice this, please do this without delay today and I will see you in my next video and thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Thank you.